The Monmouth men's soccer team runs their winning streak to four in a row in Northeast Conference play, defeating Robert Morris 2-1 here on Friday evening at the Great Lawn, thanks to this guy, Joseph Schmid, the game-winning goal. All right, let's talk about what was a, kind of a weird game. You had weird weather, there was fog, it was muddy, yeah. physical play, but you come out and get a just result in a pretty hard-fought match. Um, I think we came out and started both halves well, which is uh, indicative of the two goals that we got, and um, we battled the rest of the game, and especially in the second half when they were pressing guys forward and stuff like that, so it was a good one for us. You talk about the first goal, it was on a free kick chance, RC found Tomas Penfold, it was pretty flawlessly executed. Yeah, yeah, um, we, uh, we uh, had a meeting before the game saying that we need to exploit them on set pieces because they weren't that strong, and um, our first one was beautiful, it was wide open. And then able to go on top. 2 nothing at the time on your goal, and just kind of explain how that kind of developed. You know, obviously, Paco carrying the ball down the left side, you kind of right place at the right time. Yeah, um, Paco just beat a couple of guys, made a great move to the goal, hit a good shot low. The goalie uh, saved it. I was following up the shot at the top of the box, and it kind of fell to me. And it seems as though you've gotten a couple of these now, opportunities like these one-touch volley attempts. When that's happening, it's so hard to get such a good hit on the ball. How are you able to do it pretty consistently? Um, I think it's just to follow the ball all the way through to your foot and um, don't swipe at it. You hear coach on the sidelines always saying don't swipe at balls, but uh, it's true. If you try to break the ball, it's odds are it's not going to go the way you want it to go. So just make solid contact on it. And then to then have Robert Morris get a goal, cut it to 2-1 in the second half. And then, you know, at that point, then it was really anyone's game. But, you know, kind of talk about those final 20 or so minutes when, when you were thwarting every attempt they had and then eventually hung on for the win. Um, well, first off, I think Robert Morris is, is a really good team. They uh, they play great soccer, probably top two or three in the conference. They play really well. But, um, yeah, when they were shoving it down our throats, we just had to battle, and that's that's what we did. It was tough, but they had some chances, and that's going to happen when they have eight or nine guys forward. But our defense played really well. Yaya and Matt Jeffrey and David and RC, who's not even a left back, is playing great. And then now you, you take this and you move forward with a little momentum. Look ahead to Sunday against St. Francis of Pennsylvania right here on the Great Lawn at 3 p.m. Another good team and a team that has given you guys fits in the past. It's going to be an interesting match on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, last year they beat us um, on Sunday at their place when we traveled. So hopefully it could be the same way. They're traveling. They traveled all the way from Pittsburgh. They already had a game. So hopefully we could catch them early because I think they're going to be a little bit tired from the seven-hour bus ride, the game on Friday, less than 48-hour break. We're here, so hopefully we can jump on that and be successful. Well, Joseph, congratulations on the win tonight and the game-winning goal, and good luck on Sunday. I appreciate a few minutes. Thanks, Eddie. That's Joseph Schmidt again, the game-winning goal tonight in Mom, it's 2-1 win over Robert Morris. Now on Sunday, it's a doubleheader right here on the Great Lawn. The women at noon, and then the men take on the red flash at 3 p.m. right here on your home for the Hawks. Go MUHawks.com.